Hello and welcome back to LearnStock videos. This video talks about the level of structural organization of organisms. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Let's dive right in. Unicellular organisms are single-celled organisms. These organisms exist as a single cell that performs all the functions necessary to support its life. Examples of unicellular organisms include bacteria such as the amoeba. Multicellular organisms are organisms composed of many cells. These kinds of organisms contain several cells, with each cell performing a specific function collectively sustaining the life of the organism. Multicellular organisms have a complex level of organization. The first level of complexity is cells. A cell is the basic unit of living things. At this level, the characteristics of living things are observed, such as the intake of nutrients, production of energy, removal of waste material, growth, and reproduction. The second level of complexity is the tissue. A tissue is a group of similar cells performing a common function. There are four types of tissues, muscle tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and epithelial tissue. The third level of complexity is the organ. An organ is a group of two or more tissues working together to perform a specific function. For example, a blood vessel is an organ. It consists of different tissues working together. The middle layer of the blood vessel is composed of muscle tissue. The inner layer consists of epithelial tissue. These two, along with other tissues working together, form a blood vessel that transports blood. The fourth level of complexity is the system. A system is a group of organs performing a particular function. The blood vessel, an organ, and the heart, another organ, work together to form the system called the cardiovascular system, which pumps and transports blood throughout the body. The fifth and last level of complexity is the organism. This is the combination of all the systems. The human body has 11 systems. Each system performs a particular function. For instance, the cardiovascular system pumps and transports blood throughout the body. The digestive system digests and absorbs the nutrients. And the respiratory system delivers oxygen to the body. To recap, multicellular organisms are organisms composed of many cells. These organisms have a complex level of organization which includes cells as the basic unit, tissues as groups of similar cells performing a common function, organs as groups of two or more tissues working together to perform a specific function, systems as groups of organs performing a particular function, and finally, the organism, which is the combination of all the systems. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our scientific adventures. Until next time, stay curious.